Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna just do a quick live trade here for you guys. Um, I'm looking at, to, you know, Bitcoin. I feel it's almost gonna end up downtrending very soon. It's reaching some oversold regions. And also, if I look like on the one hour chart, I just drew kind of a support trend line right here for you guys to see, right? It looks something like that, where well, you see on the lower end, you see on the higher end right here. But I, I just don't believe that it's gonna get to a higher high right now, to be quite honest. Um, I think it's just gonna end up trending downwards regardless of if it looks like it's going up right now or not okay and I entered a Litecoin position of um, I don't know whatever that is equal to I don't know I don't I can't do the math like how much is it eight thousand dollars or something yeah eight thousand dollars right I'm looking for just a quick scalp I'm gonna put mine at like you know one say 160 like 165 or something okay 165.01 and I'll sell, you know, 49.99 just so you guys can get an idea of um, the profit that I make at the end here. I see Litecoin starting to bearishly diverge, actually. It just cannot get a series of a higher high, right? Just like that. So I do believe it's just eventually going to drop. It's just a matter of time. I don't think Bitcoin is really going to make its way up too high right now. Um, I entered a short for Ripple as well, okay? I entered a short for Ripple because I just don't believe it's actually going to get that high either. I think it's going to end up downtrending and making some sort of descending triangle. So if I see it make like a descending triangle, I'm in a $6,000 Ripple position as well. I see it potentially doing something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll set my order here at six, you know, eight, um, four or something, something ridiculously reasonable rather. Okay, so let's just go to 10,000 position right there. You guys see my um, trading view. Where is trading view here? Okay, I'm just going to put my trading view up here for you guys to see. My Bitcoin's reaching kind of oversold zones right now. But a lot of the coins are not really following it like that much right now, okay? You look at NEO. NEO is definitely one of those coins that's not following it much at all right now either. So Ripple is kind of all in the same boat right now as well. So now we're just waiting for it to come down. I had a chance actually to, cl to close it earlier, right around there, but I just simply didn't really do that, okay? So let's see if this is actually going to do something like this that I think it's going to do. It's parabolically moving up. I have to give it that, but it's actually parabolically moving up. <clears throat> it's not some dinky uptrend right now. I might be actually shorting it prematurely, right? Bitcoin is actually on a tear to go up right now. Looks pretty good. So are the other coins that just going to follow it or is it just going to end up getting completely rejected right now? Okay, you see Bitcoin definitely going up, parabolically moving up as well. I don't know if it's going to break this EMA though, right? I might be just drawing my channel wrong right here, right? I just might be drawing my channel entirely wrong like that, for example, okay? But I just cannot see it breaking this channel, guys. Like I simply cannot see it like it's gonna have a really hard time in my opinion so let's just see how much I'm down now I'm down a hundred dollars I still have a lot of room to work with though if it does get higher okay lots of room we're talking about so now we see ethereum and XRP getting kind of oversold right now we see Bitcoin starting to get oversold we see Litecoin starting to slowly downtrend we see Bitcoin starting to downtrend as well right here see it's reaching this channel resistance like I was mentioning. So we're going to try to just go for a few quick dollars right now and see how this is actually going to work out. So Ripple, it doesn't, there we go. There's the signs of the bearish divergence that I just saw. Perfect, right there. Do you guys see this? This is exactly what I'm looking for right here. You guys see a bunch of my bells going off, right? You hear it? I'll actually turn on the volume for the desktop so you guys can hear it as well. There we go. Here's the bearish divergence that I'm spotting already. So even if I made like, you know, a few bucks, like $50 on um, on Litecoin here, for example, right? $50 on Litecoin, maybe even more than that. I'm going to make a few dollars on Ripple as well, right? So I'm hoping for like a $100 to $150 profit or something like that. By the end, we see the bearish divergence on Ripple, like I was mentioning, okay? So something like that. Let's hope that we get another peak and it actually comes down. Let's go back to Litecoin and just see how it's faring right now. It's looking not, not that bad. It is in oversold regions right now by a little bit. So 
we got to make sure that we note that as well so we see Bitcoin just struggling right now to break this okay on a five minute chart it's really struggling to break this right now lots of wicks poking upwards with kind of a hanging man as well I look on the one minute chart it just does not really look that healthy at all either right I'm a scalp excuse me I just hiccup there I'm a scalper so you know it's okay for me to be looking at these charts I'm looking for these small gains throughout the day that really do add up right on the five minute chart still cannot break to a higher RSI which signals to me that we're still in pretty good position right now we don't always have to be at the top guys like we really don't always just have to be right at the top right it's just it's not reasonable to think that we can always be literally right at the top so now we're just gonna hang tight we're just gonna wait to see what kind of movement we're gonna get in terms of price right here I mean I'm tempted to just slam like 20,000 ripple coins or not 20,000 um, yeah 20,000 ripple actually <laughs> put up a wall here to kind of scare the market but I don't know if I really want to do that <laughs> 20,000 is not really that much when you think about it but it's definitely more than any other wall on here right it's enough to just kind of give a little bit of a roar to the market it signals hey you know this guy is, wants to create a little wall there's a lot of people selling which sometimes could scare the market enough believe it or not it's just it's all about strategy at the end of the day we see Bitcoin right now try to break down to the 8350 region 8350 they're just trying to shatter it these guys are trying to hold above the 8350 but there's really not that much so we're just going to keep an eye on these right here and see what kind of movement we're going to get still really no movement yet right now but we are starting to level off here as you can see it's slowly slowly starting to level off and that's actually what i want i want it to level off just like that so let's see if these guys are gonna end up selling it I'd add more to my position but you know there's no need to because because it's on its way down already you guys see 8350 just yeah 8350 they're really really pushing it hard I'm gonna target a very reasonable fib level I think right this is probably the end of the entire uptrend actually in my personal opinion let's draw our fib on here I always got to double I hate doing this on here I dislike it with a passion because every time you draw a new fib when you reload a chart it doesn't save and you got to go to background every single time you got to go to write every single time and change it it's the most irritating thing so I could probably target I'm guessing um you know uh, yeah right around this zone here at 86 right it's only gonna be $40 it's kind of kind of crappy right and then I'll probably end up targeting a reasonable fib here as well in my opinion so yeah we see downtrend we see Bitcoin break down below 83 right 83.50 was actually broken severely if you guys notice there's our $8,400 target that I was hoping for we're just downtrending now on on um, ripple here okay so let's see combined if all this hard work and quick on the fly tactical analysis will actually get us anywhere Let's just take a fib of this particular range right here and I'm going to target um, basically um, I'm going to target basically I guess 036 fib for both of them right let's see if Bitcoin actually bounce back up 8350 again seems to be a magical number do you guys hear my bells go off or EOS reaching um, where's EOS finally EOS is reaching some decently oversold zones that actually might be worth watching right now it's finally gone up there I don't think Bitcoin's just gonna like skyrocket from this point I think it's gonna definitely break down to be quite honest so let's go take a look at EOS let's go see we used to short EOS as well Ethereum Classic is actually on a tear right now I spoke a little bit too soon earlier today it was at $17 okay is that $17 and it actually has gone up a little bit now so is EOS worth shorting right now I mean if I sold 1,000 EOS coins and it went down $5 is that even worth looking at it um, maybe maybe right here so let me just have a look at all these other coins yeah it's still on its way down 
I really dislike it when it does that crap to me. So Bitcoin is still heavily debating on whether it can break above or below 83.50 right now. I'm going to bank on below. <laughs> I'm definitely going to bank on down. Let's go see EOS. Bitcoin still at 83.49, 83.48. Are we losing strength in the market? Um, yes, we are losing strength in the market right now. Yep, definitely losing strength. It's not look like. See, we got, actually got a double plateau here now. Finally, we broke up with more than ten dollars. I just hear the bell going off. It's probably EOS. It's Bitcoin, right? EOS is doing okay. I'm not sure if I want to enter a short position for it yet, though. Like we gotta, we gotta just give it a little bit of time. So Bitcoin actually gained ten dollars in strength. I'm hoping it gets to about eighty four hundred at the most before it decides, hey, this is kind of the highest that I can go. So we see um, Litecoin here down ticking by fifty cents or so. Still not close to my target range, right? Not really close at all yet. I'm still right around that range. Not really down a lot. Not really up a lot. It's just a matter of giving it some time now. So let's see if I should be adding more to my position. Ripple's still going up right now. It's still going up. What's this bell that's ringing now? XRP is reaching oversold, right? It's breaking down. It doesn't look like Ripple was going to come down very soon. It's parabolically moving up. Let's see how the five minute chart is still. All right. Is it gaining more strength? Is it losing more strength? That's the important thing to always make note of. So it doesn't look like it's going up right now. Let's see if I can just add one more thousand dollars to a Ripple short position right here. So here's another thousand dollars that I'm going to add to my short at 69.51 actually. Just to try to average out my price a little bit here. The more you add to your short, right, the more money that's actually being added to the market in general. We have to keep that in mind, okay? The more money added to the market to short means more people we have to buy. Despite it being a lot or not, that's really irrelevant sometimes. So we see um, Litecoin finally starting to lose some steam right there, right? Finally, we're now um, very close to my oversold region. We see Bitcoin just dropping now. It's finally losing its steam after we saw this histogram that leveled off, if you remember. Now the, level, the histogram is actually down ticking, which is great. This happens once in a while, my apologies. So Ripple is probably going to follow suit soon too. I cannot see it stay that high. It's not really a big profit for Ripple. It's like $30 profit, but whatever. I'll take the $30 profit. When I combine it with managing um, my Litecoin position as well, right? That can be an easy $100 that we're managing. Sure, I'm playing with a little bit more money than, than some people, right? But we got to remember that um, it's, so, it's about the skill that's important. So what do we see being oversold? We see Ethereum reaching oversold. Um, we see Bitcoin just dropping right now, okay? We see just Bitcoin dropping. That means that, that um, Ripple is going to drop too, okay? Ripple is going to drop. We know that Litecoin is going to drop as well very, very soon. Just hang tight because look at what Bitcoin just did, guys. Bitcoin just fell $25. We got a very decent red candle here, right? Price action is dictating that it doesn't really want to go up anymore. We did drop uh, like $30 very, very quickly there. Let's see what kind of sell-off volume we're getting. Are people jumping in? This is my, my Ethereum candle as well. So let's go take a look at the one-minute chart here for for these guys and see how we're doing. We're now in the profit range, okay? We're now in the profit range. That's a really good thing to make note of. We're just targeting a very, very simple $50 profit right here, okay? $50 of profit is what we're targeting. Let's get this order up a little bit better. 10999. Now we're in the profit zone for um for Litecoin here. This one should probably start dropping soon with it. Bitcoin is definitely not doing that well in terms of wanting to move upwards. Um, are we reaching oversold a little bit? Might might get one more small wave up, but I can't really see it getting higher. You guys gotta make note of this formation right here, okay? You see this formation that's happening? 
this is now your channel in here, right? And with your channel, there's a good chance that it's not going to break higher than it because it's now reaching its absolute peak. So channels happen like that all the time, guys. Okay, It's always good to short at a channel resistance like that. We see Ripple starting to downtick now, right? I mean, you guys do the math. Even though it's only half of a cent difference, what is half of a cent on 11,000 coins? Well, that's $50, right? We see Litecoin just start to downtrend here now, right? Here's your Litecoin downtrending. Here's your Ripple downtrending. We're almost in the profit zone. Here's your Bitcoin downtrending soon probably too. No, not quite yet, right? Let's keep this on the one minute chart when I'm trading. So we see Ripple just downtrending here. People are starting to sell it off. We're almost in the profit zone, right? We're definitely going to see another really major push down. I'm literally just right here, okay? Already $9 up on Ripple. When it drops to there, let's see how the market is going to react. Okay, 83, 87, or sorry, 83, 45. We're upticking a little bit right now, okay? We're trending above this resist, this horizontal resistance line, right? Or sorry, this resistance line in general. We're back up to 83.50. Ripple is probably going to bounce right back up very quickly too, unless we get this MACD crossover soon. So if we get this MACD crossover, it's going to be a beautiful thing, right? If it can't go higher, it's going to go lower when these MACDs cross. Oh, I hate that. You right-click on that crap by accident, and that's what happens every time, and you got to reset the page. We see Litecoin, right? It's just slightly bouncing back up over here. Slight bounce. Did you guys see that right there? Okay, that was a pretty decent bounce. I could have closed my position and just taken like a $50 profit or whatever, but it's not worth it to me to close my position that early, right? We're seeing some probably nasty candles. Uh, we, we, so yeah, we got a shooting star that shows right above there, as you guys can see, all right? Let's go to the five minute chart here as well. This is not the best candle to be showing like that. Okay, there we go. We see a shooting star. We end up seeing on the five minute chart, a series of double tweezers. It's going down simple as that it's going down okay on a very short time frame that's how i gauge it double tweezer top right there let's go to a 15 minute chart see how that's looking it's reaching some sort of rsi resistance right here getting a, a triple peak right here for the histogram which signals to me that it's coming down on a 30 minute chart probably very hard to sell, tell we get a kind of a um, little bit of a shooting star can't really tell too much yet right now we'll see in just a little bit of time the one minute chart it's starting to go sideways here this is most likely the beginning of a subwave one coming down okay ripple is still hesitating to go up but that doesn't mean it's not going to go down either we're now testing the one minute 55 ema right there mine is slightly below it i'm just waiting for one guy to dump it right here to me for 50 50 dollars of profit okay you guys can do this with any amount always remember that okay you don't need to play a big amount you can f small gains throughout the day. That's the model of a scalper, right? So I'm going to make an easy $100 here probably. I'm hoping. That's the goal. I mean, I'm already up like $40 or something on Litecoin. It's just a matter of waiting now, okay? So here we go. We're starting to see the bullish momentum come down or go away, right? The, the one-minute chart simply just cannot get higher highs. I really doubt that this is going to end up bouncing to go upwards just from how everything is looking right here. Looks like there's a lot more bearish signs than there are bullish, that's for sure. Right, I just need one guy to basically dump it to me, which is only 500 coins. It's really not that many coins, right? Ripple's the same thing. It just takes one person to honestly dump it. On the 5 minute, we're already seeing very bearish RSI. Look at that, it's super bearish. It might be some sort of inverted, or it might be some flag as well where it can break upwards. But we did get a series of a double peak already. So how the heck could I think that it's going up right now? Really difficult for me to think it's going up. We're already at the 62 range, right? Here, there we go. We're seeing the bearish dump right here. Maybe I can even target a little bit lower than that. Because this is only the one minute chart, right? And I'm targeting a 55 or I'm targeting just a reasonable Fibonacci from where this uptrend originally began, which is about right here at this particular Fib level, okay? Bitcoin is starting to slowly go down. If you guys notice that, there's a large volume of sell-off right here, okay? Large volume of sell-off. 
ripples coming down here. This is how I manage three coins at a time. See, I could have closed my position earlier, right? But I didn't. So now I'm going to go somewhere in between because I see that the momentum is coming downwards right here. Okay. There's a big wall over here coming down. There we go. We're now in the profit zone for ripple as well. We, we, we see just these guys is dying off these particular coins, right? The 69 range is de definitely being breached here. So I took a very reasonable fib level between the six eight, the six um the sorry the two three six and the three eight two fib range. I'm already in the profit zone. I'm in the profit zone for here as well already. Okay. Now it's just a matter of properly executing my limit order, making sure that I don't go for a market execution because my fees are still high for market execution. Everybody still has high fees. It has to be limit orders that you do. I think my market execution price is still about 0.008% or something like that, right? What's reaching oversold? We're seeing EOS reaching kind of oversold zone. So we've got to wonder what is going on with it right now. EOS 519, it's not really moving with the trend. I'm not really too interested right now. Okay, we're already $35 up on Ripple. If I were to close my position with the market execution, but I'm not going to do that, okay? I'm not going to do that. We're closing below the 55 EMA. We see a lot of sell-off volume that's happening right now. Do you guys know what happens when there's a big sell-off volume? Well, it eventually gets dumped and the bulls give up. We see them trying to breach 8337, 8337, right? They're trying to slowly, slowly breach it. As soon as we break this 8337, in my opinion, it's just going to end up downtrending pretty heavily. Okay, we're at the 688 range already. We're almost where my limit order is actually, right? I'm at 85. I'm going to make $55 there. We keep looking at Litecoin here as well. Um, I'm not really in the mood to, you know, to, there we go. Now, now we're coming down, right? Did we break it? 835. There we go. 88337 has finally been broken. Now we're trying to break 335 right here. So this is kind of giving you guys some live plays. As soon as we get to the 8326 range, that's when my positions are probably going to close. So we just got to keep a very close eye on this right now, right? There we go. We're almost down here. I'm literally right here. I don't really have that big of an order. Litecoin is definitely being dumped right now, okay? There's a there's a guy with a big order in front of me. He were 28. It's not really that big. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to undercut him, right? He's at 48. I'm just going to go for 49. Actually, I'll just go for 51. I'm not concerned about three pennies. Now, I'm in line to be dumped to next. Let's see how this is going to work out right here. Now, Ripple is getting very... Uh, not really coming down too much yet. Did we break down? 8335. Let's keep looking. There's about 10 orders there. Boom. That's where it just broke down right there. We're going to reach to 836 right here. And this is where my positions are most likely going to get closed that you guys are going to see. Just a few more seconds away. I've got the bigger one right there at about 10,000. Do you guys see? Right? I've got the big order. That's me right there. One guy just removed his order because he's smart because he probably lowered it. 828 region. Right now, we're coming down. We're just about to come down to close the majority of my positions, right? Let's see if we're actually going to dump right here. Bitcoin still at 829. It's just a matter of time until we get to roughly um, 8307. There we go. 10,000 of my Ripple position is now closing. What am I up to right now? It's, they're slowly, slowly getting there. Right? Slowly, slowly getting to my Ripple positions. I'm the next guy in line. Okay, Ripple positions has closed. There we go. All of my positions closed, guys, at the exact same time. You guys like that called play by play? Huh? I know you guys like that. Come on. That is called that's called pure skill, guys, okay? That's called pure skill right there. I don't mean to brag. I don't mean to brag in any way and nor am I trying to brag, okay guys? But that is what you call pure skill. And this is why you guys cannot scalp until you can do what I'm doing right here, okay? You simply cannot scalp. I want to be very very clear right now. You cannot scalp whatsoever until you are able to swing trade until you are able to day trade okay guys until you acquire these skills that is when you are allowed to sh to start scalping like me because the last thing that i want is for you guys to get screwed over okay i don't want you guys to get screwed over you need to be able to learn your technical analysis the way i'm doing it i am literally evaluating three coins at the exact same time guys 
I closed my positions a little bit too early. I could have taken more profit, but I am not greedy like that. I play this scalping game. Honestly, it's for fun. Honestly, I do it for fun, guys. It's not even for the money. But we have to be able to evaluate and we have to see, we have to make sure that we can actually do TA on three different coins at the same time. So this is how I manage my positions throughout the day. You guys only see a glimpse, honestly, of what I do because I don't really share a lot of my live trades. But throughout the day when I'm not making you guys videos, this is basically what I'm doing at the same time, okay? So, so yeah. So there you guys go. Let's take my profit here for $59 on litecoin bam 59 dollars profit for litecoin let's now also take our 59 dollars profit for ripple right here bam that's 120 dollars in how much how quickly guys okay since about in 30 minutes i made 120 dollars in 30 minutes gg guys hope you enjoy my live trading videos keep in mind that my live trading videos there's a level of confidence right in me there's a very different different level of confidence that you see it is not really that humble in any way okay because when you trade you need to be a cocky who's you need to be cocky you need to be confident but you got to make sure that you stay calm always all right you have to be very sure of your positions that you take you understand what i mean you got to be confident of your TA and of your technical analysis abilities and you got to exercise extreme patience if you want to be able to close things the way that I'm closing like that. So anyways, have a great day, baby whales. I hope you appreciate the videos. Please make sure you um, upvote this on Steemit if it has helped you in one way or another. Bye now.